It was an early morning at Cantonal High School. Trixie was standing by her locker to get ready for her first class in math when she overheard some of the students talking about a talent show. This was something that she never heard of. So she walked up to the students to ask them about it. It turned out it was Applejack, Rarity, and Rainbow Dash talking about this talent show. And Applejack said that she overheard Vice Principal Luna and Principal Celestia talking about to have a talent show just before the winter holidays. And she was actually surprised that she even heard about it. And despite though, when the others asked her if she was going to be part of it. But since she said this was fact the very first time she ever heard of, of a talent show. So she wasn't even sure if, but if she will even if she was doing it to take part, she had no idea what she was going to do. Even when Rarity asked if she were doing a, a magical performance. But she was not even sure yet. So the rest of the day she was actually start having a good time. But at lunch break, she actually overheard some other students talking about this magical or this talent show performance. They were actually very, she was just surprised how fast this news actually has spread at the source of fast. But she didn't mind it at all. Even some other, when she had joined the table with Applejack, Trick, uh, Rainbow, and the others, and the friends. They actually also talk about this performance. They were actually talking about if they was, if they had any plans to do this as a as a band or if they would do some individual performance. Even though when they focused on Trixie again and asked her if she had decided if she would do a magical performance, but then Rarity just interrupted with saying. If you would do a magical performance, would you do something new or some of the, the performance you have been doing before? And that was something that Trixie realized. If she would do a magical performance at this talent show, some of the talent, the, some of the performance she had been doing before, most of the students at the school was even had actually got used to them. So the words of the, if so, if she would do any of them, it wouldn't be much as a in, entertainment for them. So she thought maybe do something else, but she hadn't even really decided yet if she wanted to be a big part of it. After all, this talent show wasn't supposed to be at by the end of the winter holidays. So it gave her at least a couple of months of time to think and decide and even practice if she was going to need that. So when, after, when school was over, at home, Trixie laid on her bed and thinking about this talent show. And she actually was wondering if she would do a magical performance. But there was something about it though, because since Rarity actually had a point. Since, since Trixie had performed some magical, some of her performance at, at school before, and some of them actually had been used quite often, so the students might get used to some of her performance. But then was something else. She remembers that she's decent is now decent enough well at, at, at singing, but she hasn't been singing much by by any audience since the Battle of the Bands incident when the Dazzlings tried to take, to take over the school. But she maybe thought about it. So she thought if she were doing a singing performance. So she thought about it. So she decided to ask her former, the, the, her band, those who the girls who sang with her the last time, if they would probably perform with her. So by the next day at school, she actually found them, both of them actually, and asked if they had any plans for this talent show. But it turns out they actually had decided to join them, just two of them together at this performance. So Trixie was a lot understood, even though she felt a bit heartbroken, that, but she had to completely understand. So she decided maybe singing, perhaps singing solo. 
but that was just a question. She had even seen Solo ever since she was younger, but even before, like in the second grade. So she thought maybe if she would do a duet with someone else. So she had asked around some of the students if what what kind of performance they would do. Some of them actually had even had said that they had even decided yet if they were going to be at take a part of it or what they had even decided for what kind of the performance want to do. Some of the students said that they actually had already planned to do some other performance with someone or just maybe doing a solo performance. So Trixie had less chance to find someone to ask when she had almost, when she actually found out so many students doesn't even, wasn't even going to take part of this talent show because they didn't want to. So Trixie had, was still very much had torn, she had been torn herself in, in her mind, like, what's she going to do? If she was going to do a, a solo performance, but she preferred had been a duet. So, she was still thinking about it. So, after school was over, she actually went to the park that was not far from the school. She sat, sat down there and she was thinking what she was going to do. She actually started crying for some, like, for some unknown reason. She actually cried and asked herself, why can I not find anyone to be my partner for this singing performance? But struggle luck, she actually heard a voice and said, Trixie, why are you crying? She looked up and saw Rainbow Dash. Trixie said that she wasn't crying, but Rainbow didn't notice that she had cried. She asked if there was something was wrong, but Trixie said nothing was wrong. And but then Trixie actually heard what Rainbow said. Those words made her stop. I heard you, Trixie. I heard you said when you cried, and I understand from that. But then Trixie asked if she is going to be performing with some of her friends at Song Sonic Rainbow. But what Trixie said, heard what Rainbow said next shook her. That they actually had decided that, that her and friends had decided to do some individual performance. So Rarity had actually thought about this also, but she was in fact the one who thought about doing a separate individual performance, rather from a band. So Rainbow said that she didn't have any plans for this performance or had no idea what kind of performance she was going to do. So when she asked Trixie if maybe that if Rainbow could be her duet partner at the at this talent show, Trixie was a little bit surprised, but she said that she didn't even need some time to think about it. So Rainbow said that she understood and she will let, let, let her know with the next two, with the next day or two. After all, this was just since this was on a Friday when they met at the park. So she will probably let her know on Monday when they go back to school. So the rest of the weekend, Trixie had a lot of time to think about what tri that Rainbow had offered to be her partner in this talent show. So, but the next week, on Monday, Trixie had decided to let her know, to let Rainbow know about her answer. But she decided to wait to at least to around lunch break. So when, when lunch, lunch actually approached, she found Rainbow with her friends at a table and she sat down with them. They were talking about some random things when Rainbow looked at Trixie and Trixie said, Rainbow, you asked me about to be your partner for this, uh, or you want me to be my partner for this town show? And just Rainbow nodded, and the others just looked at him and just surprised that even Rainbow hadn't even asked her that. But she said, actually, I would like that. The others were just a bit surprised, but 
They were just smiling and said, Trixie, you, good, you made a good choice. Rainbow is a good singer. And others just nodded and said, and Rainbow said, yeah, this is enough. Decent? Well, well, more than decent, said Sansa Shima. But they actually decided to do this together. But they actually were needed to, to meet at Rainbow's home after school from time to time just to practice and and even decide for what type of song if there's going to be singing some a, a well-known song or a, a brand new of their own. So for the next couple of weeks, Rainbow and Trixie either met by Rainbow's home or at Trixie's home to spend time to decide what songs they wanted to be. Decide if, or if they want to make a whole new brand new song or if they want to perform with a well known song. But they decided to take a well known song. But they were at least, they actually had a list of like 10 songs of been choosing from. So after they practice in front of a for a small camera to, to watch their performance afterwards. They only sang for maybe like two minutes each time. They wanted to see which song would be best for to practice for and in to even to have as a performance. After they had narrowed down the ten songs to nearly about five, next to only three, then to just two, and they have managed to find out the perfect song. And it was in fact even a surprise to, to Rainbow. They had chosen a love song. They found maybe a love song could actually reach out to the audience, like the parents and other relatives that was going to be in the audience. So they actually decided to keep this choice of the song for a secret, like a top secret, even from their friends. Because they didn't want to be let them know exactly what song they wanted before. So after they had cho chosen the song, they started to perform at either at Trixie's home in more practice. And after all, after all, they need some practice to see to make this performance good enough. As the time passed, the summer. The winter holidays were getting closer and closer, and as they were just thinking, they were just had, as they thought, or at least as they felt for them, they had just started practice. But just by the some time later, as they thought about it, at least, but time passed so fast for them, and now it was just only about a week until the winter holiday was starting. Even when Trixie and Rainbow, they were actually now practice a little bit more often at Rainbow's home, like maybe two to three times per day, or like two to three times per week, like per day, for until this talent show was going to take and take in place. And they were now getting more and more nervous. Even Trixie started wondering if this was actually a good idea. And she actually started getting cold feet. And even Rainbow did notice and that Trixie had chosen perhaps maybe she wanted to to remove her name their names from this performance and that that she didn't want to perform anymore. And that she didn't want to perform anymore at this at anyways. But Rainbow managed to convince her there's too late for that. So they agreed to this performance. So on the night on town show, even though that Rainbow was a little bit nervous herself, but Trixie, she was freaking out. She was trying to find a way to just leave the place, leave school before even there was their their, their turn, take over to, to on the stage. But Rainbow managed to convince her. There was no way for her to leave her to leave her alone on the stage. Because if she walked on the stage and saying that she was not going longer to be performing because her partner had left the stage, had left the area, left the building because she was too nervous. 
And how would that affect from her parents since they had actually themselves have been looking forward to see their daughter to perform in singing. And that even though Rainbows had didn't had attention to make to make Trixie to feel bad about it. Her true attention was to realize if she do that, it they will only make not only herself to feel bad, but to Rainbow also. And she understood. Even when there was just only when this just about only a minute before they wanted to perform, Rainbow said to Trixie, listen. This is might be the most amazing time or the most embarrassing time for both of us, but let's do it together. Let us do this together and make it that like 20% cooler than anything else. Even if we don't win this talent show or even get the third place, we will do our best. And those words impact Trixie really well. She nodded. And they actually went on the stage in you know, a silence and they both actually announced what type of song they're going to perform. And when the music started in the backstage, they started singing and they literally wasn't nervous anymore. Because just after music started, Trixie had, like only for a second, she thought just either faint she just ran away, I said, run off the stage entirely. But as the music started, and as she saw tricks that Rainbow was getting ready to sing, she, did it. she took the mic to herself and started to sing too. And after the performance, they were actually surprised when Principal Lu Celestia announced the winner of the year's talent show. And it was, in fact, Trixie and Rainbow. Their, their performance actually was so good. The audience loved them so much. They, see, they could see the passion when they sang the song. And they actually revealed afterwards. They had been practicing for weeks for this particular song. And that they wanted to make this performance good as best they could. And... Trixie, she actually saw her parents, especially her mother, crying when this when was one day but before. And afterwards, she could see that she was her mother was still crying. And her father nodded, a big smile, and a big thumb up as you did, you did excellent, Trixie. Bravo. And even after that, they went back backstage. Everyone else actually said, well, we shouldn't have done that. They said, grand, grand. they actually said, grand. very, they were stunned, but they were actually happy about them. And even when they were alone, Trixie actually hugged Rainbow for her help in this performance. She had never actually, they never actually had the courage to do it by herself. But, but then something did happen. Rainbow, of all the same time, hugged her back and said that she actually, even if they didn't, even if they didn't win, she was still had a great time. She actually had a so great time to sing this song, and that she actually loved her so much. And that second made Tracy stop. She looked at Rainbow, and asked, "Love." She was a little surprised, and Rainbow. She realized what she said, and just before that anything else can happen, she literally took off. She ran out from backstage, and Trixie just stood there for only a few seconds before she ran after the rainbow. But, as she saw that rainbow was about to cross a street, it was too late. It turns out, a car was approaching from the other end of the street. And there were no street lights in there on that particular street. There were some, but they were actually turned off or broken. They actually never found out exactly. But as they were there, the car hit Rainbow 
just before it was too late on the car to, to pray to put on the brakes. Trixie stood by the door, silent for a brief second, and screamed. She screamed so loud that everyone else in the backstage actually heard her, and some of the standard performers actually stood behind her, and they started screaming, pointing, and said, Call for 911 immediately. And this was actually fact only, only, even this happened just only a few seconds earlier. Soon, everyone else in the whole building was aware what just happened. And the car itself actually had stopped and the driver looked, actually stepped out of the car and he actually tried to see if Rainbow was hurt. The police was called, ambulance arrived, and luckily though, the driver didn't hit Rainbow too hard. She managed to get only a, a mild concussion and a, a frankled angle. And for excusing from what the, the driver though, he did not get much punishment for this. He got only a warning. But when he explained that since the, the for no reason those street lights in on that particular street, at least part of it, there were no there were no lights there. And and he actually did notice Rainbow just as he has his on like two feet away from his own car. And he didn't even notice her because she was wearing a dark clothes. She was actually wearing a dark dress for some reason. And that made that it's almost also impossible when to notice them to notice her before it was too late. Rainbow's parents were so upset against the driver because when he found out when they found out the reason. But even afterwards when Rainbow was got home, she was surprised that Trixie actually called her the same day, next day after, asking her what was she meant about love? At first, Rainbow was actually silent because she had no idea what she was going to say, or if she was just going to do some make up a lie, or just hang up on the phone. But she made the right decision to tell her exactly. And it turned out because after they had been practiced for nearly for about almost a month at this point, just um, at least after they had been practiced singing for about a month after, when they had decided to join in and to do this talent show. She had started to develop feelings towards Trixie. But the reason why she never told anyone else or any her, because she didn't want to make them even more awkward. She had decided to wait at least after this talent show was over. Even if they didn't win or not, she was going to wait to do at least either when they were when there and they had performed or maybe they after this talent show. But this slipped out of her after they realized they had won the talent show. Trixie was just blown away. She was literally mind blown. She actually had no idea that during that particular just one month of practice that Rainbow actually fallen in love with her and not even telling her. But Trixie asked if she could come over. Rainbow didn't mind that though. After all, now she that Trixie was now at this point aware of Rainbow's feelings for her. So she came over and Trixie was still a bit confused about this that that Rainbow had just revealed her feelings for her, and even when Trixie was came over, Rainbow herself was a bit wondering what Trixie felt for her, if she didn't have any feelings back the same way, or if she preferred just to be friends. But when Trixie did came over, they start talking about this, and Trixie said that she was actually had a crush on Rainbow even before they was doing this performance. Even during the summer vacation when they had when they were both at 
camp ever free this particular summer also. That surprised the evil rainbow. But they started to realize maybe they were meant to be. So Trixie asked Rainbow it was possible for them to be together. Or at least try to at least. Rainbow thought maybe it was maybe worth to try to give him a chance to see if they can work together. So for the next couple of weeks afterwards that, they actually went on their first date, and it went perfectly. And they went on a second date, and a third date, but it wasn't until the fourth date when they became as an official couple. Even their friends was just happy that they both actually have found someone to be with. Even, this, even after all this time though, Trixie herself was wondering if this was going to be like, Forever or anything. But their love for each other only remains stronger for each single day. And in fact, even after they finished high school together, they even moved in in a small apartment in town. Rainbow still worked at this sports bar, a little sport uh, shop, sports bar, in the sport shop. In, in at the mall, Trixie, she actually started working at this magician or magical, or at least it's, she actually started working at a magician at this entertainment shop at the mall also, and they actually had a such great time. They were actually living together now, and they had some. Even though despite they had fights from time to time, but they always worked it out. But then, after they had been together for nearly for another two more years, Rainbow actually proposed to Trixie, and she said yes. And this time to have a small wedding, just to their family and close friends, it was amazing time from both. And then, just barely, three years later, Trixie and Rainbow actually started thinking if they was if they was ready to have a family, and they actually decided to adopt a daughter from an, an agency, and they were actually granted, and they adopted a daughter which was named Roxy Neon Moo. Even though that Roxy were a little bit shy around her new parents, but she actually opened up slowly enough to, to her new moms and she loved them. And especially Rainbow. She knew was very really happy is that her mom was very into sports and including skateboarding. And in fact, when Roxy was about 10 to 12, she actually got her very first skateboard. And Rainbow actually taught her some of the tricks how to do how to work on a skateboard and she actually looked up to Rainbow much. And it happened though that even Trixie had learned that uh, taught Roxy some magical performance. Even though Roxy herself was not much an interest in that, but she approved and she very appreciated. But after Ron she was about 14. She started to actually learn to like rock music. And even though she was actually good at it, listening to that, and both of her parents actually gave her a guitar on her 14th birthday. And she loved it. She performed a lot of things like rock music. But even though that she liked the rock, but after over time she started to fall into Hip hop music and pop music, and she actually had a good time, and she loved her parents. She loved them more than anything in this in the whole world, and especially was when she had after she had lost her parents just a year earlier, before Trixie and Rainbow ad adopted her. But she knows that her parents will always be around in her heart, and that. She has someone else there to take care of her, raising her, and that her parents would be happy. 
even though they actually had this big fight once when she was 13. She didn't want to listen to her parents, but after she realized how much they loved her, she first thought maybe then that Trixie and Ra Rainbow didn't even love her at all. That they only took her in because they felt sorry for her. But after they realized, after she realized how much they really liked her, they actually cared about her more than anything at all. And for that, Roxy forgave them and apologized for what for this act towards them. And they actually apologized back because they didn't want to change her lifestyle or anything. When Roxy was about 25, she actually got to married and even had two daughters of her own. And she was really happy though. And for Trixie and Rainbow, they were actually happy that, that they actually ended up being together. Especially how in a in a circumstance it's how they even end up in, together in the first place. After that that night that the town show all those years ago, Trick Sibyls only happened as Rainbow actually admitted that her feelings were her. Because if Rainbow didn't, who knows if even Rainbow would even confess to Trixie at all. Because if she had even done that, who knows if they never had found a true love. Maybe Trixie would have found someone else to be with. And Rainbow the same. And for that, they're both happy to at least that Rainbow have us had enough courage to admit her true, true feelings towards Trixie. And this is how Trixie, Luna Moon, and Rainbow Dash from a true love are gonna family together. The end.